using Blender 2.73 for image registration with the Kinograph project. Open Blender and delete the cube. Come down and change your view to Movie Clip Editor. and open your image sequence. Con A selects all. Open the clip. Prefetch all the data, the images. We'll find the end of the clip, which is going to be, in this case, only 31. Drop down and hit E and that will set the end of the clip. Go back to the beginning. And now we'll add a marker, tracking marker, on the upper left corner. Go back and add another marker on the lower right corner. Go back up to the upper left corner shift and right click select both go to tracking settings and we're going to use previous frame come down to display stabilized images a little further down and click on the search marker display that shows a box around the region of interest, the two corners. 2D stabilization, hit the plus sign and select both trackers. We're on image one, so we hit the arrow. There's only 31 images, so they're all tracked. You can see up in the little corner, what you'd be looking for would be some extra long spots but you can see the image is stabilized when you hit control F11 I'm sorry alt A now we go to the compositing window we're going to use nodes we do not need to render layers so we delete that We're going to add an input of images. We're going to open up our data source again, A. Open the image sequence. Move the composite window over here to the right. We're going to add a viewer. So output viewer. And the next thing we really want to do is get our image stabilization. So the so stabilized 2D, drop that box right there. Now open the image sequence again. A, select all, open the clip. This is what I forget all the time. Now let's go back and see where we're at. We want to add the first thing is a rotator. So distort transform and drop that guy in place. And now let's get to look at something. Drag a wire to the transform. Drag a wire from the stabilized 2D to the viewer. And to the compositor and then from the transformer to the stabilizer. When we hit render in the lower left we have the render window. We want to see it so we hit the backdrop button. V will reduce it in size a little bit and now we see that it's not quite level so we go to the transform angle which we can slide back and forth or we can just type in a value 
In this case, it would be one degree approximately, very close. We're working with a negative image in this case, so we want to invert the colors. So we add color, invert, and hold it right on top of the wire. And now we have an inverted image, but it's very bright. We can add a color gamma correction. Place that in, and then change the value till we get the gamma about where we want it. The next thing we would want to have would be a contrast and uh, brightness. Brightness and contrast. Filter. Oops, missed it. Brightness and contrast. And drop that on the wire. And we can set the contrast by dragging the value back and forth or adding, adding real numbers. That looks pretty good. Now in this case, we should go to the render presets. I'm going to take HDTV 720, 1280, 720 size, and output to, in my case, it's going to be the temp directory. And we just hit animation. It processes the images down that pipeline. Then we can hit Control F11 to view our render. And we can see that the frame that we are interested in is holding nice and steady. And everything else is sort of bouncing around. We've stabilized the image and we're outputting an image sequence to the directory. Have fun.